Today's date is September 8th, 2020, Tuesday. The time's approximately 9.30 a.m. Um, notebook 37, page number 3,134. I'm pretty sure uh, none of this stuff gets out. I made some uh, discoveries regarding uh, Jim Parson and Jordan. Um, I suspect uh, these uh, individuals are most likely the ones responsible for the uh, organized serial murder that committed on my family and that uh, the Manitoba government's most likely assisting uh, Jim Parsons and uh, the uh, offenders in this case. I'm able to identify Hells Angels associations to uh, some of my concerns here. Uh, that would include that of uh, the uh, massacring of families between Winnipeg and Alberta. Uh, one common uh, theme and denominator they have among each other. It's all police corruption. All of it. It's, uh, it's, it's alarming. It's scary. It almost suggests that the the guys that are uh, saying they're innocent or not a part of it, or is, it's probably probably somewhat true. So I'm gonna call. I uh, the reason I'm gonna call the Winnipeg Police Chief uh, is lying. Um, I'm still not on the RTD hearing, and I'm concerned that uh, the Manitoba government is the one directly doing this to me at this point. I've been going there for years, and they can't even do a simple thing like that. So I'm gonna allege corruption here on the on the legislative building. I'm gonna go there, deliver a, a quick le a letter today, a quick one. And I'm going to leave it at that. But other than that, I'm going to be pursuing everyone for corruption, hands down here, because uh, the police and the government here of uh, Manitoba and Canada are sitting idle. And this, these are crimes against humanity at this point. Uh, they're sitting there not doing a friggin' thing, and people are being killed and subject to intimidation and you name it. And it's all provable by the fact that you assholes haven't uh, afforded the complaints in years here. So I have reason to believe I'm being subject to a major fraud, and I'm putting my finger on probably Jim Parsons may know the sources of this kind of fucking stuff. So I'm going to call the police chief here. Let's see. Number one clients 204-986-6037. Hi, hi, Meg. It's uh, Curtis Hastings calling. Yes, hello, Curtis. <laughs> I'll be I'll be brief today. Um, I have uh, you know my of my circumstances of being homeless for the last two months. Yes. Okay, I had spoken to uh, the regional health authority uh, in, in respect to my case, and I called the uh, residential tenancy board and the finance minister as soon as I uh, this happened, and they said they put me down for a hearing, and uh, they're confirming there's no hearing now that nothing's even in the records. Um, and I've been um, so I was just I was just going to ask because um, is there any way that I could possibly come in? Like I'm willing to go in tomorrow. I have considerable amounts of uh, criminal complaints and things like that. Um, is there any way I could talk to someone that, uh, or maybe even Chief Smythe? Like I'd be willing to go right in there and talk to him and sit down, and you know, and that wouldn't be a problem. And I have. Um, it's not going to be a pointless conversation. Like I have a lot of uh, paperwork and document here, uh, documents. Um, and I'm asking for witness protection, witness security from what's going on right now with me. Because um, I'm looking at possibly charging all the uh, officers that are involved in the uh, illegal eviction for uh, intimidation and conspiracy. Um, and there's a few other things. So is, is there any way that I could possibly uh, get in touch with T Chief Donnie Smythe? Um, no, you won't be able to. He's away from the office, actually. Um, he's not here. Okay, because I also wrote him about a... Back to the office. I, I wrote him and Judge Ryan Rolston. I wrote Danny's letter is about 40 pages in my hand printing. Judge Rolston's letter is about 50 pages. Yes. Mm -hmm. And this stuff is very thorough. Like, uh, And I'm concerned because I can't get into any institutions, uh, Meg. And that um, I'm trying to report organized serial murders here on my family like I have the evidence and no one's accepting it so I'm concerned there's an American police team here with Jason Sousa that was a, a May 13th 2017 officer that pulled me over and they were caught lying about uh, what they saw me uh, wearing so and ever since then I, I can't go any into anywhere so I'm concerned the police and uh, people are um, doing this to me so there's no way I can uh, talk to Chief Danny Smythe no, no, I, I know. I mean, I, like, I understand. Uh, to be very honest with you, he will not be speaking to you on this matter, okay? Okay. Uh, could you, I don't have your phone number. What is the number that you are? Uh, my number is, the number I'm at is uh, 1204. 1204? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
1981, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. So he, like, I have a few matters. Like, I also have a, I mean, if that's the case where he doesn't want to talk to me, that's fine. Yeah. But I also, okay. I also have a 500-page uh, mm -hmm. uh, laying of an information, a criminal complaint against Chief Smythe with 15 signatures from the uh, Justice Department confirming this file existed. And I'm just will it ready to go to uh, to uh, the uh, courthouse to lay the information, and Chief uh, Smythe could be charged. But I wasn't trying to do that. I was trying to, uh, you know, uh, demonstrate some um, patience and gratitude towards the police here, mm -hmm. because uh, you know I I recognize something. But anyways, so Chief Smythe doesn't want to acknowledge none of my allegations. Nothing. Well, I cannot. Uh, or you just meant that have, matter. I'm just telling you that he's not in the office. Okay, no, 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 I'm just trying to get a clear picture because I'm trying to figure out where I can go next with this, right? I'm, I'm getting concerned for my safeties and um, I, I'm trying to reach out to uh, Smythe here in a, in a, you know, in a, in a good, in a, with a good intent, if you will. Yes, so, I understand that. Okay, um, so is there any way, like City Hall, like I even went to City Hall and delivered four packages yes. there? what happened there? Apparently they came here and they went and spoke to my, uh, my grandmother. Okay, without, I without, remember, yes, that's right, you were... Yeah, and they, they didn't even talk to me, and I'm going to be alleging that's that's uh, grounds for harassment. Like, I'm calling, making lawful complaints, and they're coming here and talking to people without me even knowing, and then saying they're not going to talk to me after? That That's illegal. That That's harassment. Um, so, I, I don't know what to do, uh, Meg. I, I suspect, yeah, I, maybe, maybe to the media, eh? You just speak to someone on this, okay, and hopefully that someone will reach out to you and um, hear your complaint. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'm going to be busy today and uh, I'll, I'll attend the police station tomorrow. I have a letter for Chief Smythe, I'll photocopy it today. Okay. And could you please tell him, see, uh, Curtis really wants you to read this. Okay. Okay, Meg? Yes, absolutely. Okay, thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Yeah, bye.